everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, folks. Comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has links to all my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there. Subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Now, with that said and done and put to the side, <laughs> I've come to talk to you folks today about Coach Aldridge. Coach Aldridge is going to be the head coach of the national team at the Senior Bowl. Yeah, Coach Aldridge. That's crazy. That's crazy, right? Like, this is wild, man. It's wild, and this is something that's really good for the New York Jets, okay? Because it's going to give us an up-close and personal look at a lot of these young players that are going to be in this upcoming draft, all right? We're going to discuss this, okay? Now, again, Coach Aldridge is going to be the head coach of the national team. He does have a staff as well that's going to be working with him. That is going to be coaches, you know, from other spots. He's going to have the Giants offensive coordinator working with him, uh, Shay. He's also going to have Jones as well. The Vikings defensive coordinator is going to be working with him. Uh, Galano, uh, the Saints special teams coordinator is going to be working with him too. And we know that this is, again, the Reese's Senior Bowl that's going down in Mobile, Alabama. All right, now... What's crazy about this is the New York Jets have a history, right, of having, you know, coordinators or coaches go over there and work, you know, at the Senior Bowl. We did this in 2022. Ron Middleton, okay, Ron Middleton, you know, the guy that works with our tight ends, he was the national uh, team's head coach then in 2022. And, uh, man, let me tell you something. I remember back at that time, Sulla... Joe Douglas, they were there, you know, kind of snooping around, talking to players, going back and forth with people. And Joe Douglas was definitely getting his scout on, you know what I mean? And the reason why this is so great for the New York Jets to be able to yet again have such close contact with these college players that are going to be coming out in this year's draft, it has allows them to see these players up close and personal, physically. You see how a guy's built. You know what I'm saying? You get to kind of talk to him about, you know, himself as well. You know, what are your strengths? What do you do well? What are you lifting? How do you feel? Is your back good? Do you have injuries, you know, with your ankle? You know, just little questions like that just to see if he gives you a little something. You know what I mean? Also as well, you get to ask these guys football questions, which is gigantic. We know in the past we've heard that what coaches will do that are working at the Senior Bowl They'll give certain guys or they'll give a, give a team concepts, kind of like NFL scheme concepts that they may run, okay? And then they'll see how quickly a guy can pick up the concept and execute it. That is gigantic. Let me tell you something. Because that allows you to see if this guy has some football IQ. What type of learner is he? Does he pick up things quickly? Can he execute things the second that he sees them? How long does it take him to pick them things up if he can pick them up at all? Because look, you can be, you can have all the physical prowess in the world. You can lift all the weights. You can be the strongest and the fastest guy. But if you ain't got it up here, the NFL is going to be really rough on you. <laughs> Trust me, the NFL is going to be really rough on you. There's been a lot of physically gifted guys out the wazoo that have struggled, okay, to do something in the league because they just don't have the football IQ. And that will help you really be able to assess, you know, where a guy is, especially if the New York Jets are interested in some of these guys. And we'll get into some of the guys that I think they could be interested in as well. Now, what it also does to, you know, having your, your, your coaches there, um, you know, like, we, like all bridges there as the head coach of the national team, it also allows you to really look at a guy's attitude and how they approach the game. That's gigantic as well. Is this guy showing up to practice on time? When he practices, is he giving it his all or is he just kind of going through the motions? Is he serious about going out there in the senior bowl and performing well? If a guy is not serious at this point in the senior bowl with all eyes on him, if he's not serious 
about going out there and putting his best foot forward, being professional, showing up, doing what he needs to do, that might not be a guy that you want to bring into your locker room. Because if he's not doing it now, if you give him money and you draft him and you, you, you spend your capital on him, he might not be the right guy to bring into your locker room and he might not want to turn up and really get it done on the field in the NFL. Where's his heart? That's the big question. Where's his heart? The senior bowl, when you're out there asking guys to do their thing, running through drills and running through practice, it's going to show you know what players really want to be there and how they want to get things done and how badly they want it at the next level. So that also gives you a look into that too and that's gigantic as well. Now, Keep in mind, when the New York Jets were there in 2022, uh, when Ron Middleton uh, was there and he was the national team head coach, the Jets took four players, okay, in, the, in that draft, four players in that draft after the Senior Bowl from the Senior Bowl. One of them was Jermaine Johnson. Anybody know that guy? Yeah, he's paying big dividends for the New York Jets and putting it, you know, uh, putting it on out there on the field. He's handling business. He was in that senior bowl. Jeremy Rucker, mm-hmm, good young tight end, really going out there, playing very well for the New York Jets. Him and Tyler Conklin handling business. Max Mitchell as well, you know, one of the guys that's uh, some offensive line work for us. He's in a backup role. And what about Michael Clemens? That's another guy that was at that senior bowl as well. We took him too, and he's been doing things here and there. He's growing, taking the next step and getting better. So it shows you that the Jets clearly value, clearly value the ability to be at the Senior Bowl and really reach out and be able to touch these players and having these one-on-one -on -one discussions with them. Now, thing is, man, you look at this Senior Bowl that's upcoming, there are some players uh, that are going to be there that I think the New York Jets could end up grabbing. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the offensive line position. We know that the New York Jets at this point have the 10th pick in the draft. Listen, Talisi, that tackle from Oregon State, <laughs> brother, he's going to be there. Okay, the Jets are sitting at 10. He could be a guy that they absolutely grab. Of course, everyone's talking about Joe Alt and Latham and Mims. Those are phenomenal guys as well. But this kid from Oregon State is serious business. He could end up being a guy that the Jets actually take at 10 there. He's really good. Christian Jones well at Texas is somebody the Jets could be looking at. Not necessarily saying we take him at 10. I'm just saying he's a guy that you can look at in the draft because the Jets don't just need, you know, just tackle help. There's talk that we need guard help. There's a lot of things we got to address along the offensive line, right? You also look at Jordan Morgan as well from Arizona. That's another guy that's going to be there too that the Jets could be interested in. So there's there's multiple players that the Jets are going to be looking at. I'm just talking about offensive line stuff. There's wide receivers as well that the Jets could be looking at too to bring in, you know, and maybe that second, maybe that third round as well. So it's really helping them grade. So I like this. I like this move. I like that Coach Albridge is going to be there in the national, uh, you know, team's head coach. And I like how this sets the New York Jets up really, really nice to really continue to evaluate players to the T for this upcoming draft that is vital for the New York Jets when we're going into a year where Aaron Rodgers is coming back and people are talking Super Bowl. So comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about Coach Albridge uh, being the national team's head coach? What are your thoughts about how close this allows this New York Jets staff to get to the players and could you foresee uh, some players that are at this Senior Bowl being New York Jets in the, the near future? Okay, comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. You folks have a good one. Peace.